Progressor so here to give you guys another tutorial. I'm on a tutorial roll today. I'm trying to get as many done as I possibly can today. Um, so let's get started. Now, what you're going to need to make your lead rope is uh, Fabri-Tac, glue, cross grain of any color choice, or ribbon. Um, ribbon doesn't look as uh, realistic as cross grain does, and cross grain is only a dollar at any um, craft store or Walmart. I don't think I've seen any targets with uh, grass grain or anything like that. You're going to need a jewelry ca clasp, which I got mine at Michael's, and a jewelry uh, ring, I think they call it. I haven't got gotten any in a long time because they last quite a while with me. Um, and sorry, my camera doesn't pick up on detail very well, um, but it's basically just a metal circle. Um, you're going to want to make sure your clasp opens and closes, and mine does. It's a very good thing to check out, so, you know, when you're playing with the briars, it opens and closes very easily, because it's kind of annoying when you get the little, um, hook thingy stuck up into your thumb. That has happened to me before. It hurts like crazy. So, whatever. So, I'm going to be making the basic length lead rope. Um, you can make them longer or shorter, whatever. I have a lunge line, and I have a lead rope, so I'm going to be making a normal length lead rope. So... You are going to need scissors also, so you can cut your uh, jewelry ring, and you're just going to, you know, take your scissors, put it in the little hole of the jewelry ring, um, and where they hook it together, there's usually like a little line, and that's a weak point, and you're going to want to cut right on that weak point, and it'll open up a little. I'm um, sorry my camera doesn't pick up on detail, but it should open up a little bit, and you should be able to take your jewelry clasp which has a hole at the bottom, and you're going to take it like so, whoopsies, take it and put it in the jewelry clasp hole, and then you're going to take your scissors again, and just squeeze the jewelry ring shut. Um, so I need to use both hands for this, and in a normal person fashion. <laughs> so, off camera, and it's just closed shut now. So now that you have your jewelry ring and clasp hooked together, sorry if that was confusing, um, I hope that worked for you, you're going to take your cross grain, which you hopefully still have attached to the spool, and you're going to take it and string it through the jewelry ring, not the clasp, the ring, and you're going to fold it over like so, you know, a, g a fair amount, you don't need it this wide. Um, and you're going to glue it with your Fabri-Tac. So I'm going to take my Fabri-Tac and glue the little section right there and glue it together. So you now have, sorry, you now have that little part right there. So hopefully you're that far. Uh, lead ropes are actually pretty easy to make. And you're going to take your spool and kind of let it loose a little bit. And since I already have one made, I can just take it like so and um, kind of, you know, go like that. And I have a general reference point, so it's going to be that long. Um, now, I believe mine are maybe six inches. Um, let me check. I think I have the ruler laying around here somewhere. And I guess I don't. Sorry, guys. Um, but, you know, just take your briar and, you know, do a normal reference point, you know, see how long you think you would need it for your horse, and you're just going to cut it. Now, you can do a straight line, or you can do, like, a point, and I like to do a point because then it doesn't fray, and grass grain doesn't usually fray, but, you know, whatever, and you're just going to take it and cut it like so. So now you guys have a nice lead rope for your wonderful briars to add to either your halters or your hot walker or whatever you need around the barn. Um, so I hope you guys liked the tutorial. Um, keep an eye out for new tutorials. I will hopefully be making a how to make briar halters. Um, that one's probably going to be a little bit harder with how my camera doesn't pick up on small detail. So sorry if it you know doesn't look clear. Um, so I hope you guys like that. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask. It's a pretty simple thing. Um, but Thanks for watching. Hope you guys like it.